Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Maddie Jinks and welcome to the AFN Europe Report. The U.S. Navy prevented Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy from capturing an unmanned surface vessel operated by U.S. 5th Fleet in the Arabian Gulf. U.S. 5th Fleet was traveling through international waters August 29th when they observed an IRGCN support ship hauling a U.S. sail drone explorer unmanned surface ship. The USS Thunderbolt aided in the response and an MH-60S Seahawk was launched from Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 26 based in Bahrain. These actions resulted in the IRGCN vessel releasing the USV and departing the area. According to U.S. 5th Fleet Command, the incident will not deter the mission in any way. U.S. naval forces remain vigilant and will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere the international law allows while promoting rules-based international order throughout the region. After a two-year hiatus, the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo was back in action this year and the U.S. Army Field Band was among the diverse list of performers. The Tattoo is an annual series of performances by British Armed Forces, Commonwealth, international military bands, and cultural performance teams at the Edinburgh Castle in the capital of Scotland. This year's event takes place at the same time as the 70th anniversary of the Queen of England's coronation. Performing at an event of this caliber is a true honor, according to the U.S. Army Field Band's commander. We have a chance to go to really one of the greatest live shows in the world. It's an honor to be with other nations and to show unity and to really uh, do the thing that we're here to do, which is to show uh, that America is with the world. That's all for the AFN Europe Report. Thanks for watching.